a criticism. I think the O line. I don't think it matters. I think every single team, the O line is going to get criticized. Just you know, we can always do better. It doesn't matter who you are. There's always something we can do better. And you know, I think last year we had a lot of ups and downs. We definitely should have, you know, uh, performed better at times and been more consistent. Uh, I really never try to listen to all the criticism. The main thing, you know, people are going to talk bad about everybody. So. And also, there's a lot more injuries than y'all didn't know. Like, yeah, I, I don't know if – I don't want to be the guy to tell it, but does anybody know about Prater? That's one tough dude. So, yeah, torn hip labor from the whole year. Mm. Hey, do you go against uh, DeMarvin in practice? Yes. yes How sir. does that go? Oh, he's great. Dude, he's a phenomenal athlete. Uh, him and Mike Clemens, they're definitely making the tackles better. You know, Marv, he's so athletic. You can put him inside at three. You can put him at the end. You, you can put him anywhere on the line. He's going to be able to play it. So it's definitely helping us try to see someone that versatile. And, like, you know, his speed is really good. His hands are really good. So he's going to be a guy that everyone should be watching for this year. Thanks a lot, man. Next question is from Mark Passwaters with Rivals.com. And then we'll go to Justin Woodard. Hey, Carson. How's it going? Good. You? I'm making it. Um, I got a question about uh, having a second year under Coach Henson. You know, you came in, obviously, with Coach Turner. You have to adjust to a new coach. Do you feel like having that second year has not only, you know, improved what he, he wants from you, but what you guys understand about what he wants you guys to do? Yes. Yes, definitely the second year. You know, we had uh, all quarantines so since March. We've been doing – film over Zoom, which that was different, but he, he adjusted really well. So it helped the younger guys learn more, but it helped the older guys especially kind of know what he was wanting and what we were kind of doing wrong. And so that definitely is helping. We also, we know what his personality is like and we're all relating better to it. And then we're getting a lot more on a personal scale. So we, we're being taught a lot better. Next question is from Justin Woodard at KAGS, and then we'll go to Gabe Bach. Hey, Carson, how big of a deal is it to have your center, one center there, or a guy that you know is going to be there game in and game out for Ryan to be in there this year? I know he was in and out of the lineup last year. So is that a big deal for you guys, continuity-wise? Yes, the center's a big deal. You know, you get used to the guys making the calls, you know, how loud they are, and just communicating with that guy. Uh, it's going to be a big uh, key step for us to have Ryan there the whole season. You know, Prater did a phenomenal job last year of communicating with everybody. Uh, I think he only came out like five plays during Ole Miss whenever he had to get stitches, but that was it. And, you know, Ryan being able to play guard and everything last year helped us too in certain games that we needed him there. But this year, Ryan stepping up and taking the center role is going to be a big uh, – big key side for the O-line. And then also Luke Matthews and Grayson Reed, you know, they've been doing a really good job at centers too. You know, we've been getting looks with them with the ones. So that's been helping us adjust with a different guy in there. All right. The last person on the question queue is Gabe, is Gabe Bach from TexAx.com. Yeah, Carson, how bright would you say, as a guy who knows and played right next to him last year, how bright would you say the future is for Kenyon Green as a prospect and, and what makes him a, such a special talent, Carson? Oh, Kenyon, he's a freak. You know, y'all can see that from up there. You know, just from looking at him, we all talk, his athleticism is unbelievable. You know, if, you, if you're looking at old linemen, just look at their lower bodies, look at how their hips move, how much they can bend. Kenyon's got all of that. You know, Kenyon, uh, he was a freshman, so it's – it's a really tough offense to learn right when you go in there. Uh, by the end of the year, he was playing his best games. Once he started learning the playbook more, he got more games under his belt, more experience. He definitely calmed down and started just doing what he does best is being a freak out there. So uh, I, I see Kenyon doing and getting whatever he wants. The dude's a freak. He works really hard. You know, he's never late to workouts. He's never missed anything. He's always on time where he needs to be. He's doing extra stuff. So. I think Kenyon's going to be, when we're all gone, he's going to be the leader of the line next year. And uh, he's going to take that role and do a great job with it. So I can't wait to see what Kenyon, what his future holds.